Retouching portraits is such a time-consuming thing. You need to be in Lightroom first and Photoshop. You need to dodge and burn. You need to remove blemishes. You need to smoothen the skin. Yes, yeah, so the list is long. And like a week ago, I saw a video from Cam Mackey where he was showing off the new software from Skylum called Aperty. So I thought I'd just give it a try. And I must say the results are really amazing. So we're just going to jump straight into uh, Aperty now, OK? OK, so here's kind of the starting point when you imported a photo. I already did some adjustments to this in Lightroom. You can also use Aperty as a Photoshop plugin, but I'm using the standalone app. But let's just make a few quick, small changes here. Let's make it a little bit colder. Let's give it a little bit more light. Some more contrast, remove some of the highlights, shadows. Right there. And then you have, of course, you have curves, color, black and white, sharpen. These are all those things that you want to do with a photo if you want to do all the work inside of Apity. And now we move on to retouch, which is the feature that I'm really impressed with. And if we start here with blemish removal, we can pull that up to 100 and see how that affects our image. It's applying. So here you can see now before, after. And of course, this might look a little bit digital. So we're going to pull down a little bit on it. Actually pull down a little bit more. Like there. So there we can see we still have some of his uh, real face left. But we got rid of the blem blemishes. So not just the, um, as you can see, not just the blemishes, but also some of the imperfections where you need to use dodge and burn. So here you see how most of the skin actually evened out very good. If we go here, we can go to skin smoothing. And I'm just going to do like I always do, pull it up to 100 and zoom out and he now looks like a mannequin so we can just kind of dial it back a little bit it doesn't need to look like a candle so yeah we can actually go a bit more down okay yeah so there we go it's just a little bit we also have dark circles removal. Now, Dean doesn't have too much of a dark circle. He has a little bit, but if we just pull that one up, and then you can see it removes the dark circles and also some of the imperfections under. I'm going to take that a little bit down. As you can see here in his T-zone, he's got a little bit of shine. So if we go full on, it's going to be a bit dead, but if we pull it back, like this, then we still have some light left in it. And let's see, before, after. And then now we can see his eyes here is brown eyes. So we don't need to do anything. But if you would like to give him green eyes, you can just kind of pull it down a bit. And it still looks extremely natural. But we're going to go with this original iris. You can just add up some iris flare just to pop his color out a little bit. Uh, now, Dean isn't very red in his eyes, but you have redness removal. Which is just loading a little bit now. Just makes it a little bit more whitening. And then you have... Eye enhancement, which just makes the eyes pop a little bit more. And then if we go out again, we can also go down here to mouth since he doesn't show his teeth. We don't need to do anything about that right now. So we can continue down. And this feature is really cool because of course he looks, you know, we don't have any extra light sources, it's just a natural light. But if you would like to have some contouring on his face, just pull that up to 94. And then you see we have a contour added. I don't want, want it to be that visible though. My hair. You see, so AI is kind of remapping the light and making it look good on his face. He doesn't have eyeliner. He doesn't need bigger eyebrows, but if you want to, we could have gone up there and it'd be an angry bird. Yeah, 
let's just have it like that. And this one is quite nice if you want to have a little bit of separation on the skins. No, on the on the lips, sorry. So um, yeah, I mean, how long did this take me? Five minutes. So this is just a super quick walkthrough. But if we look at before and after, before, after. It still looks very natural. We can even pull down blemish removal just a little bit and the shine removal a bit. So this is just a super quick, super easy software. So I still have the beta version, but I think they're going to launch in a couple of weeks. But if you go to Skylum and buy the license, you can actually apply for the beta program and you will have it pretty straight away. That's what I did, at least. Um, you can use the link in my description. It's an affiliate link, so if you click it, I will get some for it. Um, that's not a must, but it's always appreciated. And yeah, so I think uh, this software can really save us as creators an immense amount of time, especially if you do a lot of retouch work. and. I'm not saying this would replace high-end retouch work if you're going for magazines, but if you just need to, you know, do a quick delivery of portrait photos or, you know, headshots for companies, this is amazing. This is going to save you so much time and you're going to be able to do more work in a shorter amount of time. So that's it for today. Thanks, guys. Bye.